All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Friday, and that means I am playing Necros by myself. There's no forever here, no training wheels are off, and it's time for me to try the deck by myself. So I did a little bit of research. I, uh, you know, I actually took the time to learn the deck, build the deck of my own. This is not Forever Epic's version, and I'm going to be trying to at least attempt to be remotely competent with the deck, because if I fuck it up, then, you know, just fuck me. But... This hand's not bad, this hand's not bad. I already see one shenanigan I can do, so I can go ahead and just summon Senju, get this search for, uh, for, uh, Trishula, and then Trishula plus, uh, Colossalus with Kaleidoscope. So, I could do that. that that's been, I think that's pretty power, just starting off just like, hey, thank you for upstarting and putting that upstart in the graveyard for me, so, I just go ahead and give me that Trishula and just go ahead and do it. Well, simple as that. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and send that Quasar, because I don't need it. Summon that Trish, and I guess summon that Colossalus. Trish effect, banish that, that, and of course that for me. Gone. <laughs> wow, uh, then I can go ahead and play Brilliant Fusion, get an additional summon by sending that Trick Clown. So, yeah, send that Trick Clown, that Garnet, and summon you. Uh, not really, no. Well, yeah, no, I could summon you back. You're not doing anything, but you get me an additional summon. I can go ahead and get an additional summon and search, but uh, yeah, I guess I would like to get a jump start reset button for Trick Clown when I send it. So, already doing some pretty powerful plays, and yeah, you know, this is, this is my first time playing it, so not bad, not bad, Daniel. Of course, we're going to go into fucking Wrath, because... I do run the trap holes, you know, just go attack, attack, and then go into her uh, main phase two. You no, know, stop trying to fuck something up. I know you are. You're trying to freaking fuck up this fucking gym knight. It's not necessary, though. It's really not. <laughs> so, I'm playing the engine. I'm still debating on how much of the engine I want. As you saw, I only ran one Garnet, but I'm only running two Brilliant Fusions. I don't like the 3 to 1 ratio, it really seems off, and it seems like I'll terribly draw it, but I really don't have enough room to run 2 Garnets, like that, that's also a problem that I'm facing right now. So, no. <laughs> like, we need to cut it out, and uh, besides that, I am pretty chill right now, so. That was, that was pretty good, that's pretty good, dropping first turn Colossalus and Trishula. Like, ah, so that first turn Trish is so powerful, just finish all your shit, like, ah, no, that's fine. <laughs> Double summon, that's fine too. I'm running Bottomless and Treacherous. And then he quits. Ah, yes! I did it! <laughs> Alright, we'll get another duel. They're back. Alright, let's see if I can run that back again. That just, it's, you just hit someone with the Trish and it's just the power. The power. I can do it again! <laughs> just summon one, dude. Get the cert. Oh, what, what, we're gonna run this back again? <laughs> Second like time? Suck it. Just put that up, start in the grave. Oh, he didn't summon a fucking monster. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> ah. Man, I was about to hit you with the power, man. So I definitely want to know. I know what I want to start. Give me that fucking Kaleido. Like, let's go. And then next turn, if, if he fucking fucks up, I can just go Colossalus, Trish, hit you again. Like, well, not hit you again, because I think it's a different opponent. But still, just, ah. Oh. <laughs> it's like so good. Uh, I'm not going to just set my Twin Twisters. I'm going to hold on to it. I don't want to get my Twin Twister, Twin Twister our space. I'd rather hold on to it and use it when it's practical. So, I'm good. Go ahead. What are you playing? You have to get into this duel sooner or later. You know, you got that upstart, you got cards in your hand, I just need something on your field, and I'll be prepared to trick you. Like, alright. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, you're running a lot of Trish, the Manjus, the Sanjus, like, you're just gonna take it slow? Like, shit. Shit. Hell yeah. Like, I'm totally fine with that. I could go for a freaking, uh,. I guess I can get Brio and then Brio pitch. What do you don't you just give me a Necros card? Yeah, I get a Necros card. Yeah, I can get Brio, then get me Unicorn, then summon Unicorn with uh Kaleido, and then I can always get another Kaleido. Like I think I might be able to just wrap this duel up, actually. I think I might be able to just wrap this duel up, B. Alright, so. Of course, we'll go ahead and activate Brio, pitch Brio, give me Unicorn. And we'll go ahead and activate 
It can't be the same level, or can it? I think this one it can, if I'm sending from the extra deck. Because I think it's monsters, not multiple, so... You know, this is just the, the old play of just... Classic play. Send a Herald, summon Unicorn, Herald gets a search, like... Just win. <laughs> yeah, just win. <laughs> like, Necros aren't dead, at least. I guess I'll go ahead and grab that back. I said, I could probably just wrap this duel up. Can I summon you back? I'm not sure if I can summon you back. With Norden. I thought Instafusion summon Norden. Uh, does he- do you go off? Hmm. Eh, fuck it. Live and learn, right? I'm not exactly sure if I can summon their back. It wasn't summoned properly, but... No, okay. No, well, that answers my question. No, I cannot. <laughs> I was like, it wasn't summoned properly, so can I summon it back? Like, no. I'm like, okay. Alright. Oh, uh, if I want to, I can always go into, like, D'Angusto Rammel and Rafisha and Rafalesia. Again. <laughs> I got resources, plays for days, my opponent's not doing anything. But you're gonna have to get into this duel next turn. Like, next turn, you're going to have to do something, and then I'm gonna trick you. Like, uh, how does that sound? How does that sound? So, Norton, of course, cannot attack. It sucks, because that would totally be game. Uh, I don't, I don't think there's a cowboy in here. The extra deck in this shit's really tight, like... You gotta do the Emerald plays, you gotta do a lot of the plays, so. We're just, you two go into Wrath. Powerful Wrath. No. I don't know why you wanna fuck yourself up. Then, do I have enough? If I detach, I think that'll be enough. I mean, there's really nothing else to go into, and Norton's gonna die. I guess I can go into Dweller. Yeah. Live and learn again. Let's see. I think I have to have three targets in the graveyard. Yeah. So, that's fine. <laughs> I'm an idiot, and that's fine. I think I like I think I have to have three targets on activation, not three targets by detaching. And I've had three targets, which is it's still it's fine because I'm still winning. Like I'll start again. Like, that's fine. That's fine. Send some back row. The back row setting time already. So I guess I'll just go ahead and hit you with this freaking twin twister, and then oh, I'm very treacherous. Get rid of that for me. Oh, so many Dark Magician, I see. I, I mean, I guess, just, you know, you're still gonna die. You're in some Dark Magician, get wiped, and then I'm gonna attack you for game. So, I win. Get Regeki. Well, get killed by your own shit. And then attack you for 18 for game. Like, winning. <laughs> winning. Training wheels off, boys. Turn your wheels off! Oh, you're gonna summon him though. Can I bomb with him? Oh, never mind. Chain was all backwards, so even if you summon him, you're still gonna get hit. Like, ah, uh, because I thought he was gonna dodge the Eternal Soul, but no, no, still get wrecked. Ah, uh, he must open up like crap! Like, he must open Dark Magician and a whole bunch of cards, because he literally didn't do nothing for the majority of the duel, so. Eh, that happens, that really does, it really does. You know, you don't get that Eternal Soul, Dark Magician just stuck it in your hand. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get another duel. Another one. Be right back. Alright. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on uh, what to change and what to do in this deck, you know, I am all ears because I need to learn this deck, you know. This deck is definitely gonna be on Daily Duels for a cool minute, so it's best I learn it well. Uh, it's 41 card deck, no extra. I'm assuming Monarchs again. Like, I really don't want to duel against Monarchs again, but if it's Monarchs again, then yay, I guess. And by yay, I mean no. I drew the one, the Trick Clown that I didn't want to draw. I wanted to send with Brilliant Fusion, so that kind of sucks. That, that, that does kind of suck. <laughs> um, I guess regular mirror wouldn't be terrible. Where are monsters from your hand or banished necro monsters. I can go ahead and get you, tribute you and you to summon you. Then I can play you, send you, send you, tribute you, draw some. Like, yeah, I can do all that. A, a Kaleido, tribute monster from your hand or your side of the field, or sun monster from your uh, but I'm multiple of you and only one of you, so I think I might hold on to you and just go with you. Oh, I can't do that? I'm going to tribute one, one monster. Fuck, I read that wrong. Ah, oh, I read that wrong. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm fucking up already, people. I'm fucking up already. 
I was like, oh yeah, I could just use it for you. But no, it said specifically you tribute only one monster uh, and it needs to be something from my extra deck. You know. Gotta use these two. I was like, oh, I'm gonna use these two. I had a plan. You guys know I had a plan and I fucked it up. <laughs> I'm gonna, once again, hold on to my Twin Twisters. I, I'm assuming it's Monarchs. In which case, no, I don't want Dolphin's Monarchs. I really don't. I'm so sick and tired of seeing Monarchs. Like, I, I've literally had it up to here with seeing Monarchs. Galaxy Cyclone, alright. You can have that down when I'm at. Oh, please. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Number generator, draw that sacrifice, so. Yep, yep, yep. I'm clearly not getting rid of that anytime soon. Why? So I can get Scout? I mean, I'll get rid of it, and then as soon as you search Scout, I'll fucking do that, but. As of right now, nah. Alright, I got preparation of right, so. I can. Add one level 7 or lower ritual monster from your deck, then you can add one. Well, I don't really have anything in my graveyard, but I can add Colossalus, then I can go ahead and summon Necros of Valkyrus and Colossalus. That wouldn't be terrible. It really wouldn't. Hmm. Yeah. Because I am running a, a level. Uh, a level 11. I'm running like Star Eater, so 8 plus 3 for uh, Kaleido. Uh, I mean, should I get Brio and pitch Brio, I guess? I guess I can get Brio, approach Brio, get Colossalus, and then do that. There's still Brio in my graveyard for future plays. Because then I have Brio and Colossalus, and all I have to do is search for uh, Necro's Mirror and get Trishula in my hand, and bam, there's Trishula right there. So, that's not a terrible play. So, so we'll go ahead and get that Colossalus. Alright. Activate. Oh, yes. Please do. In defense mode. Thank you. Then can still brilliant fusion. It's not a terrible play. It's just I don't really need an additional summon. Send you. Send you. Summon you. Get an additional summon. Like might be best to tribute now. It's a tribute cards during your main phase. You tribute two monsters. It's two monsters on your side of the field and or hand. All right. So just go ahead and summon you Garnet, and I guess it has to be one of my uh, monsters, because I'm only running one Trick Clown, so that's fine. And go ahead and use you, no, you, and you. And summon that Trick Clown back. I'm not getting anywhere, though. That, that's the problem. I'm not really getting anywhere. Summon you. Send... No. I could do that, but that doesn't do anything. Now, I could summon you, send frickin'. Oh, yeah, I guess I can go into. Uh. Fuck, what's the name of that card? Tango Ob. Because I don't think I run any 8s, if any. No. I could go into Herald with. Uh, mathematician. Nah, I think I'll hold off for right now. Guess I'll just attack him and then I'll just take that damage, but of course, just sacrifice is so damn strong with how many freaking uh, uh, equips that it has. Very powerful equip spell, we know that. It got limited to one even before scout, like holy shit, you know, that's how, that's the power. And I'm not afraid to pitch this unicorn, really not. I'm not gonna, it's not gonna get much use out of it being on the field, you know. So if you want to go ahead and just, you know, tribute, tribute to summon, that's fine. Tribute one of my monsters. Pop my Brilliant Fusion. <laughs> sure. Like, Brilliant Fusion ain't doing shit, so you can have that, don't even want to Pop my Treacherous Trap Hole, my Brilliant Fusion. Like this man, he's just all over popping my background. Just sitting there. So you can tribute that for two, for two tribute. Maybe like a, another disc or like a, a stealth or something. Like, all right. It's like the rolls have reversed. Missing my frickin' uh, invite. Monolith. Ah, you can have that. I don't care about Monolith. You want to tribute one for Monolith? That's fine. I'm saving this for a fucking juicy ass scout. Like, I'm headhunting for scout. Mm hmm. So, sacrifice is gone. Search for that scout. 
Probably could get you to pay that 800. But I'm worried that you're just like Pendulum Summon and not pay the 800. Nah, you're, you're gonna pay the 800. Get your search on. Get your search on, girl. Pay 800. Ah, Swim Twister. Get you. Get both of them. You don't need them. You don't need Scout. You don't need it. Please don't need Scout. Nah. Ow. Freaking monster that can attack twice and pierce me twice. Hell no. You no. Know, stay in the graveyard, Trick Clown. Don't get fucked up. It's not worth it. Live another day. Damn. <laughs> I got my fucking booty right. It's like Colossus ain't gonna be able to do shit. And I can't touch it. I just gotta run him over. Like, as simple as that. It would be nice to go insta -fee. I might go ahead and do that. Oh, I could trish him. I could trish him. Yep. Regular trish him. Not Necro's trish him. Regular trish him. I think that'd be game. Trish is level 9, so I can banish you. Banish something in your hand. Banish that sacrifice. That's 29. That's, what, 27? It's 50... 56? 50... Right? I'm not really doing the math. I think it's 56. So, yeah. I can, I can trish this man. I can just go... Insta Fusion, summon Norton, summon Trick Clown, level, uh, 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 Glow Up Bulb, summon yourself back, bam, there's Trish, so. Yep, let's just Trish you. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Glow Up Bulb. No. I was gonna get another Insta Fusion. And click, 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 click. Trish, you love. No. Yes. No. Yes. That. Sure. That. Sure. That. Ah, uh, all gone. Like I said, I think that's 56. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the math just to be sure. But 29, 27, 56. All right. Like, don't, don't, don't discourage yourself, Daniel. You, you, you want to be a math teacher. Your math is right. Win this duel. GG. Ah! Run it back. Like, my fucking invite to freaking uh, nationals at the uh, Utah Regionals I went to. Last round, face Necros, and yeah. But yeah, see? I don't need fucking Forever Epic on these tiny wheels. Look at me. I'm still fucking up, but still. I'm winning, though. The plays. Mm. <laughs> All right, we're going to get one more duel in this video. One more. Bear back. All right. One more duel. See if I can just run it back and get another victory again. I would like to go second. Just in case you want to set set up that trish for me, then I'd be very appreciative. I really didn't get the necro cards I needed. I mean, I can go ahead and summon Manju. It's more of a going first hand, really. Summon Manju, get my Kaido, play Kaido, Unicorn, send, get the search. Uh, go these two into uh, Raph. But looks like we are going up against the powerful Xi'an, maybe? No, it may be just the first turn. D damn, okay, okay, calm down, man. You don't have to jump the living shit out of me with six samurais. Like, it's not that important. Like, calm, calm, calm down. Oh, there's Xi'an. So, is this, like, one piece of back row to protect you? Please tell me it's, like, one piece of back row. Oh, no, he's just gonna go into the Shuri beast. Ow. Ow, I don't think I can... I, I, I shit. <laughs> Oh, not Nichiria Beast. Anything but Nichiria Beast. Oh my god, Nichiria Beast was great against Necros back when they were in your prime. Now, I mean, I, I can't, I literally cannot do shit. Like, there's no way he's gonna allow me to get away with anything. Like, I might as well just scoop it up right now. Like, I surrender. Fucking Nichiria Beast, man. I don't got shit against that. One more duel. We are, we are back. Ouch. He went into that first turn Nichiria Beast like he was going against fucking Draco Palace or something. Like, damn, I just got wrecked. Hand's not bad. Once again, I can go ahead and drop that, uh, that, uh, that Star Eater and do them plays. Oh, Metal Fossils. Alright. Uh, I'll try to give you a decent duel. So go ahead and pop yourself. You're gonna start fusing it up. I still find this deck kind of anticlimactic, but maybe it's just me. Kind of hoping that he actually fuses it up. Alright, so, pop. Maybe get your fusion card this time? Yeah, okay. Zerk, Pendulum Scales, and Pendulum Summon? I mean, it's another normal Pendulum deck, but with the Pendulum Mechanic, you're still good. You're still good. Fusion Shulkan. Summon those two. Fuse it up. Yep. Fuse those two into your 
boss monster better than the 3000 one. Put that card back, draw a card. Right, alright. Wow, just period. And then set some more. I wonder if there's an actual back row back there, or is it just bluffs? Hey, guess I'll find out. Well, so, I got a Trick Clown and I got fucking Thousand Blades. Like, alright. Alright. <laughs> It'd be nice if I could... Can I do that? No, because I don't have the right mirror. If I had a different mirror, I could have done it. I could have trished them. That went foolish, sang blah, blah, blah. And I had a different mirror. Tribute these two in my hand to summon Valkyries, because they're not the same level. But they're both add up to eight. Then you would have went off. You would have went off. Summon you. Summon you. Banish. The banish. I mean, top card of my deck. Summon glow up ball. Bam. There's trash. But no, I can't do that. So, uh, since I get, I guess I, since I drew these two, I guess I'll definitely foolish glow up ball. But there's there's no argument there. So like I said, I'm just kind of wondering what his set cards are. Like I already know what one of them is, but is that other one that he drew is just another trap, another spell, or what? You know. Or is it actually some actual background, a solemn strike or something? Oh, never mind. I could just summon these two, then tribute off these two, draw two more cards of Valkyrie. Awesome. Awesome. So I can trish him if I want to. It wouldn't be terrible. Crack his scale. Never mind. He has solemn warning. He 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 drew him to solemn warning. So I guess I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> I guess I'm not playing anymore. Wow. That's that's really lame. Uh, so I can go ahead and pitch you. To add one necro spell or trap from your deck to your hand, I might have to do that because that that hurt. That hurt. Fucking number generator. Fuck you. All right. So I mean, it really doesn't matter what mirror I get, as long as it's not this. Because I can't do this anymore. Uh, I need a claw source in my hand, so I guess I can just get you, your chill monsters, monsters from your hand, or banish your monsters from your necro in your graveyard. You know? So, now I pretty much know all that he has, so that's pretty good. So we'll go ahead and draw summon you by sending you two. Thing is, I'm not going to be able to, to draw, because I would, I think I'd rather trish him right now. So, I took damage, so a thousand blades, come back. Then I can go ahead and go up bulbs on the top card of my deck. Summon Trish you, pick that card out of your hand. Crack your scales definitely. I'm not really worried about your combination right now. Just cracking your scales seems like a pretty good thing to do. So you got that solemn strike, but you know, I got I mean that solemn warning, but hey, you know, I got that foolish to make the fucking Trish, so let's go. Let's just Trish you up. That I would love to go ahead and tribute to draw some cards, but I think trishing you right now is just so fucking tempting. Banish a card on the field? Sure, I will go ahead and banish. I guess it really doesn't matter. I guess I'll just banish the bigger threat, which I guess would be this guy. I don't, I don't know how many ones you've done. I've seen a couple ones, so. Banish the eight. Banish a card in the graveyard. Give me that solemn warning. So, not that you're ever gonna get that back, but still. I mean, all that card, all that can go away. Parallel Twister, some one other for the graveyard and target. Yeah, no. Some one other spell or trap card you control the graveyard. Then is that like the same like your 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 spell so you can put it back and draw a card? Like yeah. So when this guy dies, he gets to go ahead and pop a card on the field, which is fine, I guess. I really don't care. So I guess you can pop you can pop my Valkyries. Okay. I guess you won't pop it before I do main phase 2 tribute trash, because I'd probably do it. So let's see how lucky you are. If you have your trap card, if you're fusion summon, you can go ahead and get that back. Uh, so you really need to top deck into uh, a level 8. I mean, a pendulum scale 8. So let's see how lucky you are, because I don't got much left. Alright. Combination. Oh, you're just going to pop it itself. Ah, I forgot you could do that. And then you get to go ahead and add. Yep, so you can go ahead and add itself, and that will go off in the graveyard, get your pendulum scale. So, despite me trishing you and turning this whole deal around, I guess you'll just go ahead and pendulum summon and jump me. Ah, uh, thank you, Solemn Warning. You literally just true into fucking Solemn Warning and wrecked my entire plans. Like, I was gonna go way off more than that, and... Yep. 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 Uh, then pop your other pendulum scale. And then get to your poly, play your poly, fuse it up. So, like I said, it's normal pendulums, but it's still pendulums. It's 
still the pendulum mechanic, so. Yep. That's just great. Ah, uh, I fucking had him too. So, uh, I mean, I can go ahead and banish and search, but there's really no point. I don't have any Necros fucking cards. I got wrecked by Solemn Warning. God damn it, it ruined my t entire plans. So, I think I'll just wait until I take all the damage I can and then summon back everybody. Playing Skyarch too? Like, why not? Because you fucking can? Like, stop top decking into plays! Holy shit! And it's just said that this card is sent from the field of the grave. Wow, this man is top decking and wrecking me because he keeps top decking. Like, that fucking draw shit is literally wrecking me. I have no cards fucking left. Like, wow. Like, wow. Wow, the top deck is real. Like, holy shit. I've never even seen that card before. Ah, Twin Twister. That would've been great to get fucking last turn. That would've been fucking great to get last turn. Yeah, I got fucking nothing. <laughs> I got fucking nothing. Wow. Ah. Uh. Yep, I got fucking... fucking nothing. Banish and search all I fucking want, but in the end, it's gonna opt to nothing. That's great. <laughs> I can go ahead and pop his two cards. That wouldn't be terrible, but oh wait, he gets a search off of this when it's sent to the graveyard, so I guess it doesn't fucking matter, now does it? Ah. Uh... Draw a solemn warning. Wreck me. Fucking draw a sky iris. Continue your plays. Pop my shit that I just summoned back. That I could have used for this turn. Oh, and drop, drop, and draw, like, fucking number generator. Draw into Skull Crobat Joker. Like, alright. Alright, number generator. Oh, I lose because of the number generator. Thank you. <laughs> so. Thank you very much. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's sad. That's sad that I lost because of the number generator. <laughs> oh, like, what were, the, what were the chances of him just drawing right into that fellow morning and wrecking my entire plans? I mean, 3,000 guy. Play your fucking combination, summon back anything from your graveyard that's strong enough to wreck me, and then that's game. I could go ahead and stop you, but in the end, I mean, you have monkey war, so I guess I'll just end my fucking life like fucking Forever Epic, and then just, just quit, because that's this is still gonna be game. This is That's a sad thing, this is still gonna be game. Go ahead and get your search, you have monkey board, play that one card pendulum scale, and I'm like fucking Forever Epic right now. Like, Forever Epic is just gonna fucking cry. Not only am I playing Necros, which he taught me mostly how to play, but I'm also gonna lose the same way that he fucking lost. Like, That back draw card, play your fucking unicorn pendulum summon, and jump the living shit out of me. GG. Thank you, pendulum mechanic. I just love how you just set up your scales again and you can summon all the monsters back. It's so, so fair. So fair. <laughs> I'm like, look at that, look at that, look at that. Fucking the cancer of Yu-Gi-Oh right there. God Eyes Fusion. What, you drew into that? You top decked into that? Yeah, you did. You did. You did. You top decked into that, so. Nice top deck. <laughs> Fucking top deck dot duel right now. No, there's no point. Just wrap, I'm gonna wrap this duel up. Alright, so there we go. I lost the monkey board. I lost the top decking. A number generator, really, but. The, the whole shebang. Just the whole shebang. Uh, where are my Twin Twisters? No one knows. <laughs> late, late. I finally got it. It's too late. If I would have played a Twin Twister, popped a Solemn Warning, popped one of his scales, then Trist. Oh my god, I would have fucking... I would have been fucking going to town, but instead... Oh. So, I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode of Daredevil. So, 
I'm not terrible with necros. I think I'm pretty good. If you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and tell me in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, yeah, see you guys next week with some more Daily Duels.